Ha! Ah, hello, me hearties. Dinky do, it's just me, Scotty McClue. I thought I'd do a quick pop up midweek just to say hi and see what's happening with you. Of course, lovely to have you with us, and I hope you'll come and join me and maybe tell ten to tell ten to tell ten to tell ten about Scotty McClue live on the big one, Facebook Live, of course, one of the world's great broadcasting platforms. Lovely to have you with us, and a very, very warm welcome. Dinky do and come and join me and of course lots and lots of spreading the word it's always marvelous to hear from you and as I say a very warm welcome to Scotty McClue the first lord of the internet the world stop broadcaster and just a quick pop up because otherwise you think where is this man it's all very well having the watch parties but I get a lot of feedback from you saying can we go live Scotty there's Kareem Zachariah welcome Scotty McClue I hope you're well. Hello, Scotty McClue, says Kareem. Excellent stuff. Welcome, welcome, I say. And there's Peter Connolly. Welcome. And Alex Glass. Lovely to have you with us now. This is a live pop-up. So I hope you will join us and come and uh, spread the word. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that you're watching. Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster. Good to see you, Scotty. And you, Ian Stewart. Lovely to have you with us if people want a bit of a shout out do come and join us and we will give you a bit of a shout out how is the lighting tonight seem to have a wee bit of a shiny head so there we go just do that oh that's much better and you know it of course john mcintyre lovely to have you with us and henry anderson welcome 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 i say to scotty mcclue's live pop up we're live streaming wonderful and uh, if you've got something to say come and see it i say now i know you've all been very careful about not mentioning brexit when we do the live pop-ups but i'm just saying it looks less and less likely that we'll be having a brexit which i personally think is a good thing so there we are i think we all got drawn into this brexit thing and i say to myself um, I'm wondering what's going to be the outcome. So there you are. Good to see you again, Scotty, says the wonderful Gordon Roddick. Gordon, I can't thank you enough for your generosity in Scotty McClue's GoFundMe. You've given pounds after pounds after pounds, and it's so kind of you. You know, please don't feel any obligation, of course, but it is lovely of you to have done that, God, it really is. And, uh, of course, I had the great privilege of working with you when you were running the transmission set up at Scottish Television for many, many years. So it's just great to know you're about, and it's lovely to have your company. But thank you so much for your generosity. Gordon has very kindly made a donation which goes to buy little bits of advertising and little bits of equipment for the Scotty McClue pop-ups. So you'll see the link to GoFundMe me there if you're feeling flush folks and you've got a pound or a five or a tenner whatever suits you uh, you look like Churchill says Heidi Marie I thank you I thank you Heidi I might just decide to actually be Churchill Yes. Uh, good evening, Scotty. I hope you're well, says Christine Boyle. Dinky do. David Forsyth Sr. and Peter Dale Nevins has joined us. Lovely to have you with us, of course. Is this quite a good time for a pop-up, would you say, folks? So time to get talking to me. It's lovely to have you with us. But get talking to me, and let's see what is what. Come and join us live. Stuart Buckins just joined us. Welcome, Stuart. John Holmes. So why vote leave when the government turn it over? It makes no sense. Well, I think we shouldn't really have had to vote at all. I think we got dragged into a party political stunt that had gone horribly wrong. And because the parties, just one party, was so split, they decided to run with the Ball and see if they could uh, get us out of Europe on behalf of their lot. So just watch you're not being worked from the back on that one. Would have been better not voting at all. Pal, I hope you've had a good day, says Thomas Hamilton. I have, Tom. Thank you. Uh, so there we are. There's Aidan Muir. Good to have you with us, Aidan, but we'll maybe take that comment on. Thank you very much. Um, hello, my pal. Good to see you tonight. Dinky do, says Peter Dale Nevins. Peter Dale Nevins, how are the pups doing? Because I know that you've got a couple of beautiful pups there, and that 
that's quite an effort. I know what it's like to have pops running about. Gordon Rich is watching. Absolutely, Scotty McClure, says Peter Dale Nevins. So Peter's got a couple of wee dogs just arrived, so he'll be on the hot, never a dull moment. You'll be exhausted, Peter, but it's wonderful. It's worth every second of it. So there you are. There's somebody said I look like Churchill. Do you think I could play the old British bulldog? Yes. Tell you that. I'll speak to Clemmy about it. So there we are. And um, when will the government start listening to what the public want, says Kay Wood. Well, I think, Kay, the public have changed. And uh, Rory Green, I think what we'll do with you is give you a lifetime ban. There we are. Uh, we'll delete, well, we'll delete your comment just now. Uh, how's your dog doing? He's wonderful. He's 13 on uh, Wednesday. Uh, sorry, tomorrow's Wednesday. 13 on Thursday. So I'm delighted about that. Lovely little black Labrador, of course. Uh, so, Kay Wood, it depends on what you mean, what the public want. I suspect the public don't want to leave the EU. So there you are. If you think about it, the uh, majority for Brexit was 1.2 million. There are almost 70 million people in the UK. So 1.2 million dictating to 70 million. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. So there we are. Wonderful. And uh, long live the union. Is that the union of the EU and the UK? Peter Dale Nevin says, is this not getting tiresome, Scotty? Peter, I don't think so, actually. I don't think you can get too tired of something like that. You see, that's what certain politicians are hoping, is that the public get worn down. And therefore, they'll say, ah, oh, I'm sick to death of the whole thing. And uh, they'll stop discussing it and stop going on social media and stop interfering with what one lot want and the other lot don't want. So there you go. So I'm having a look at the whole thing there. Right, we'll let you off. as only joking, Scotty. Good. Thanks for the reply, Scotty, says John Holmes. Not at all, John. Always happy to give my contributors a good response, a good reply. So there you are. If you've just joined us, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Just going to move the lighting back a tiny, tiny bit because I'm getting a wee bit of shine on the heat. Aha. Uh -huh. So there we go. And if I do that, that'll maybe cut that down a wee bit. Excellent stuff. So there we go. Only joking. No problem at all. Um, what have we got? Long live the union, says Ryan Jack Jolly. So that's the union of the EU and the UK, Ryan Jack Jolly. I think we're all up for that one. And uh, Rory Green was only joking. No problem, Rory. Dinky do, Scotty. Where's your bonnet? Says Paul Crookshanks. I have the bonnet here, Paul. And the bonnet can go on. Do we like the bonnet on? Do we prefer the bonnet on? I ask you. So there you are. Larry Donalds is watching. Thank you, dear Larry. Lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome to Scotty McClue's pop-up just to say hi to every single one of you. Can we get sharing, of course? Share, 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 share. Let everybody know that we have popped up. I say, and uh, I think I've got it here. Just having a, a wee look to the side. I need to move this other device so we don't have to look to the side. That's marvellous stuff. There we are. Uh, welcome, Larry. Nice to have you with us, of course. Glenn Campbell's watching. Dinky do. I hope you're well, sir, says Jeff Bernstein. Absolutely, Jeff. Um, so there we are. I think Boris has been treated horribly. So there we are. But Mrs. May and the Remainers are playing games. We voted leave. No, we didn't vote leave. Some people voted leave. And a lot of them were conned by the big red bus, remember? That all the money was going to the NHS. There we are. Uh, Peter Connolly says, breaks us a shambles. And every MP doesn't give a damn. I think a lot of them do about the country's welfare. Just trying to score points for themselves. Not necessarily Peter Connolly. So there you are. Because uh, I think there's a lot of MPs do actually care. Like the bonnet on, Scotty, says Paul Crookshanks. Oh, Paul, think you do, I say. Right, I'm just going to do a bit of sharing. And if you can do the same, that would be fantastic. So there we are. We'll uh, share. 
that's gone and we'll share to the group let everybody know what's happening uh what's peter down heaven saying to be here well said scotty it's a pity more people don't vote it would be more responsible absolutely but we didn't vote leave there were more but i think that will have changed dramatically uh yes it suits you the cap says erica meyer you think better than the baldy erica of course i used to have a great big shock of dark hair but time moves on bun it on uh we do want to leave the eu hence we voted nice to see uh, you are using SNP's conspiracy polls. Let's have another independence. You will be on the losing side again. Scotland will once again see, see more. Never heard so much nonsense in all my life. Keep the bonnet on. It looks cool. There's no need for any angst about this. It's an economic fact that Scotland would do extremely well out of the union look at the way that uh, westminster has been running their show recently and look at the wonderful way the scottish parliament runs so you see that's what we're thinking about there and remember scotland subsidizes the uk to a huge amount about 50 60 billion pounds scotland's keeping the uk afloat that's why people don't want scotland to leave the uk but remember the uk is four countries there's a lot of myths one is let's make great britain great again great britain is a land mass and there are four countries or three countries and a principality in Great Britain. Do you see what I mean? And of course, we've been in the EU. It's our EU. We've been in it for 50 years of peace and prosperity. Pretty fabulous, that. Keep the bonnet on. It looks good, says Kareem. Okay, Kareem. I'll maybe put the bonnet back on. Bunny on or off, folks, you decide. John Joseph Duran's watching. Uh, you got a pint of water tonight, Mr. McClure. Dariel, I've got to have my water here. Mm. Oh, that's lush. Good Scottish water. Kevin McDonald, Dinky Doo, Tracy Cunningham, wonderful, wonderful broadcaster, is watching Scotty McClure live right now. Dinky Doo. And uh, Alex Blundell, Dinky Doo. To Jeff Bernstein. If anyone believed what was written on that bus, they shouldn't have been allowed to vote. No, not at all, Jeff. A lot of people believed what was written on that bus, you know. And remember that um, Boris, of course, was he not a lot to do with the Leave campaign at the time? So there we go. Kirsty Reed, Dinky Do, Erica Meyer. How's the Fox, Scotty? Erica, I haven't seen the fox for a while if you go on scotty mcclue's somebody trying to do an advert there if you go on scotty mcclue's youtube channel and you look up a wee visitor to mcclue towers then you will see the fox it's fabulous stuff we love the fox gorgeous characters so there you are um are you a remainer and uh you know John Berko, is he still going? I hope so. John Berko is fantastic. Yes, of course. No, it's not a question of me being a Remainer. It's in the interests of the UK to remain in the EU. It's as simple as that. I don't have sides. I'm apolitical. I have no agenda. I don't take sides. I just tell the truth. I give you the facts. Excellent stuff. Louise Arrow. Dinky do. Uh, don't ignore me, Natalie, says Kirsty Reed. Uh, bit of gel required in the hair, Mr. McClure, says Gary. A wee bit of water would do that. That would settle it down there. Marvelous stuff. Oh, yes. There we go. Wonderful. So that's that. Um, serious note here. How are you feeling about the current Extinction Rebellion? How do you think Scotland would fare? in a renewable global society well scotland is a renewable global society so we're already there so we don't actually need an extinction rebellion in scotland can i say something then says aiden Muir. yes of course you can aiden uh carnet mccasker dinky do ian roach uh there was a french tv program looking into scottish independence they say it will be the 14th richest country in the world absolutely of course because remember every penny that scotland makes goes to westminster and gets squandered on things like brexit brexit has rushed us in the last three years, 60 billion pounds of taxpayers' 
money, doon the swanee, doon the stank. So there you go, telling you that right now. Right, so what have we got here? I'm going to share to a group uh, and let everybody know in the Scotty McClure group that we are live. Fantastic. Yay. Right, Scotty McClure. Uh, can everybody share, 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 share. We won't be the last to leave, right, the basket case known as the EU. Ryan Jack Jolly, the EU is no basket case, I can tell you. 510 million pounds, sorry, 510 million people, billions and billions of pounds coming to the UK, flowing to the UK from the EU. It stood as in very good, very, very good um, stead has the EU. So don't knock the EU. It is no basket case. I can tell you that. You're talking serious, serious economic quality. So there you are. Wonderful stuff. And remember, it's our EU. So if we are knocking the EU, we built up over the last 50 years with our lovely neighbors, friends and allies, Germany, we control 30% of the EU. It's our EU. So leaving it, we'd be shooting ourselves in the foot, and people should know that. There you go, Ryan Jack Jolly. There's a few home truths for you. So there we go. Simon Entwistle, I'm afraid we can't do the advertising, so I'll have to delete that uh, wonderful stuff. The answer is yes. And uh, there we go. We'll block Aidan Muir, because uh, he's being a wee bit silly. So Aidan, you're about to have a lifetime ban. Oh, wonderful stuff. Gone, Scotty, says John Holmes. No problem, John. Couldn't agree more, Scotty. Alba Gubra, says Peter Dale Evans. Peter Dale Evans. It's not because of nuclear weapons in this country is the reason they want to keep us in the UK. No, no, it's the money, Tommy. So there you are. You could put the nuclear weapons anywhere you light. Um, so there we go. Uh, Jeff Bernstein, yes, we can't really have comments like that, so I'll have to let that one go, I'm afraid. Uh, that's a bit of an opinion. Amen, brother, says Rory Green. Excellent, Rory. Right, I'm just going to do a bit of sharing. Can you all come and join me? Fund the Bairns. Yes, absolutely. Can you say a big hello to my good friend Joe? He's a huge fan who moved to China. We'll miss him very much, says Rory Green. He might be watching right now, Rory. Thousands upon thousands of you watch the Scotty McClue pop-ups when they come. So there you go. Wonderful stuff. I'll sit back a wee bit because what's happening here? You're getting a wee bit shine if I go too far forward. So I'll move the lighting back a wee bit and give you a chance. We'll say hello to your mate in China. Fantastic stuff. Welcome, 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 I say. I hope this gets plenty of views. A likable character, says Nolan Pollard. Nolan Pollard, thank you very much. Well, we popped up last week and a couple of thousand joined us. And um, you'll see there's pop-ups there with 28, 30,000 have come and joined us. But if everybody shares and shares, that'd be fantastic. So there we go. I'm just going to go sharing right now and let everybody know what's happening. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Uh, if you've just joined us, folks, a very, very warm welcome. If you're wondering who this guy is, you're watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet, the one stop broadcaster. This is the big one. Fantastic. Kim Rayner. No, it's not with the money we pay to the EU. Britain could do so much with it. I vote leave, as did millions. Well, no, Kim Rayner, we've got nearly 70 million in the country. 17.4 million voted to leave three and a half years ago in a flawed opinion poll. And that's mitigated, of course, because 16.2 million wanted to remain. So you've got 1.2 million of a majority trying to dictate to almost 70 million. So please get it into your head, Kim. We did not vote to leave the EU. A handful of people, a horde 
of people, a lot of them xenophobic, voted to leave the EU. And, of course, there's a handful of hooray Henrys that are hoping to make a few quid if we leave the EU. They couldn't give two about you. So there we go. Incredible. Right, so we got here. I can't believe today it was announced. It's highly unlikely we'll get a Brexit deal. If this goes ahead on this basis, I fear the worst. What I would do now, if I was BM, is negotiate Remain. I'd ring the EU up and say, look, I'm terribly sorry about all the fuss. I hope we haven't been an inconvenience, but we would like to remain in the EU, in our EU, sitting at the big table, negotiating with the world's top trading bloc, and uh, fantastic. So there you go. Wonderful. Uh, you know, evening, Scotty. Big Boris on the way out, says GM. Who knows? We should just stay put in the EU, says Moira. Chico's mum. Absolutely, Moira. Good for you. Gary L. Fund the bairns, not the bombs, Mr. McClure, with exceptional talent, past, present, and the future in Scotland. Now is the time, he says. Hi, Scotty, says Stephen Austin. Hi, Stephen Dinky Do. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet, and the world's top broadcaster, just popping up to say Dinky Do to every single one of you. Just going to share it again. And if you can all do the same, <coughs> that's fantastic. Share now in public. Wonderful. And I'm also going to share it to the Scotty McClue page. I think that would be even more fantastic. Wonderful, wonderful. What have we got from you guys here? Lots and lots of wonderful stuff. What's the least comfortable procedure you've ever been administered by the NHS? P.S. Joe was delighted with his message, says Rory Green. I've had an appendectomy. So there you go. That was there. Uh, that's the one I could tell you about. Just sharing to the Scotty McClue page. I had a, gastro a gastroscopy recently. It was bananas. Says, <laughs> oh, had you been eating the bananas? I ask you. So there we are. Just doing a quick share, folks. If you could do the same, that would be fantastic. Fantastic. There we go. Excellent stuff. A gastroscopy. I don't know which end does that go, um, I ask you. If you've just joined us, welcome, welcome, welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, doing a pop-up just for you, a live pop-up on Facebook Live, the world's great broadcast platform. Don't forget, you can also hear me on Nation Radio on a Sunday night, Nation Radio. Radio Scotland, 96.3 on the FM, or www.nationradio.scot. Come and join us there as well. So there we are. Uh, what other procedures have you guys had on the NHS? You live, Scotty, says John Boyle. I am John Boyle, very much live. If you've just joined us, folks, then we are live, 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 live. We also do watch parties, of course, so some people uh, get a bit confused. They go, this is a watch party, or is he actually live? So John Boyle, we're live. Scotty, the EU are desperate for us to remain. What a perfect uh, time to negotiate a deal to do so. It's a no-brainer. Peter Connolly, you're talking nothing but sense. If uh, Boris rang the EU tomorrow and said, look, this Brexit thing's not really working out, can we remain? But I am looking for a deal. And I'm talking a cracker. If I can pull off this remain thing, will you give me a good deal? And I think they'd bite his hand off. Fantastic. So they are nice to see you sharing at the moment, says John Boyle. I am sharing John Boyle. Good, he says. Excellent. Well, good for you, John Boyle. I'll tell you that. Excellent. Lovely to have you with us, Barry O'Neill. Dinky do. Uh, no, says John Boyle. No what? We don't know. You've just said no, John. I don't know what you mean by that. So there you are. Tell us what you mean. Right, folks, if you want a bit of a shout out, come and talk to me. Type, 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 type tap, 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 tap. Are you all sharing? James Cotters is watching. It's all in the sharing, folks. The success of the Scotty McClure pop-ups for you is all in the sharing. I enjoy it. If you have loved Scotty McClure for 
28 years, then you'll see in the title there, we've got a link to the GoFundMe. If you can stick in five quid or something like that, one quid, um, but uh, a fiver would be lovely. And if you can share the GoFundMe account, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClure's GoFundMe. I think it's sitting at £710 at the moment. So we'll get that up. The target's five grand. And it pays for advertising, little bits of equipment. I mean, I've put literally hundreds of thousands of pounds over the years into radio stations. And uh, one of them, we had a stewardship problem. And the money wasn't necessarily going where it should have been going. But nevertheless, um, you know, that is fantastic stuff. And I could do the hand. So, I mean, if you've got a spare fiver in your purse, you think, no, I'll give this to Scotty McClue. Uh, Scotty, we run an independence-themed nightclub party uh, called Keep It Rolling. So there we go. Could you do us a little sound bite? Ooh, Rory Green. Keep it here. Keep it clear. Keep it rolling. Just for you. Dinky doo. Charles McLaughlin, Scotty. I'm going for a colonoscopy at the end of the month. So there we are. He says it's a bit of a pain in the. You know, and absolutely, Charles. Good luck with that. Maybe just say, um, Big ups, the keep it rolling. <laughs> uh, you would mean the world, says Rory Green. Scotty, you be okay, buddy. I'm absolutely okay, John Bar. Why do you ask? Do I not look okay? Mm. As I always tell people, this is what I look like. If anybody's got a problem with that, that's their problem. Um, so there we go. Richie McCusker has joined us. Dinky do, Richie. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, no medical, Scotty, says John Boyle. So there we are. I don't know what you mean, John, by no medical. Thank you, says Rory Green. Rory, of course, it's a privilege, not a problem at all. We haven't decided if it's bun it on or bun it off. So there we go. Trish McLaren. Hey, Scotty. Hi, Trish. How are you? What's the update on your mum? Because I know she's not being well. And, uh, you know, we send you love. That's the whole thing. Paul Kyra, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome to the Scotty McClue live stream pop up just for you, dinky do. Uh, you're a handsome man, Scotty, says Moira. Chico's mum. So there we are. Well, I'm sure. Chico is a fine-looking fellow as well, Moira. But it's very kind of you to say so. Thank you. Um, where did you get your hat from? Aha, uh -huh. bit of advertising. This, of course, is uh, our old friends at Hogs of Fife. Now, you'll see it backwards. Can you see it there? Hogs of Fife. I need to get you a mirror. I want the same hat, says Scott Williams. I might start to franchise the hats. Wonderful stuff, but um, yes. Hogs of Fife, wonderful stuff, that's what we like, and um, a great shot, wonderful bonnet, very, very hard wearing, coats with a shower rain, all sorts of things, it's incredible, marvellous, a Scotty McClue bonnet, just for you, dinky do. Mm. I think I'll do another share, I'm sure it's irritating every day, but we'll just do it. Um, so there we go. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what, we'll share to another group and let everybody know what's happening. Uh, come and join us. Chico is a Cocker Spaniel. Yeah, I know, but still be very, very good looking. Cockers are very good looking dogs. So there we go. Excellent stuff. Right, let me just uh, do a bit of sharing. Wonderful. And uh, Facebook. There we go. Oh. Excellent. Good. And I'm just sharing, Scotty McClure, if you can all do the same. She's really bad. She's going to be leaving the world soon and get her wings. She's still in hospital, says Trish. Trish, give her a wee hug from me, from Scotty McClure, and bless her, I say. Remember, it's wonderful having known her. So there we go. So, and she will be getting her wings when the time comes because she is an angel. And uh, so is her daughter. Uh, John Boyle, dinky do, always sharing. Yes, if everybody can share, 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 share. Can we have a massive share in three, two, one.
two, one, share. Terrific. Hi, Scotty, I love you, says Christina Melo. Ex Christina, Christina. Yes, have I said it right? Melo. Christina Melo. Hi, Scotty, I love you. Thank you, Christina. Mwah. Uh, Fiona MacDonald, good evening, Scotty. Good evening, Fiona. I hope you're well, dinky do. Welcome to Scotty McClue's pop-up just for you. Good night, Scotty. Pop up soon. Good night, John Boyle. Take care of you. Oh my goodness, it's nearly time I wasn't here. I shall have to dash off. Thank you very much for joining us. I've done it since John Boyle. You've shared and you've shared and you've shared. Fantastic, John Boyle. So there we are. I'll do some watch parties with this, guys. And uh, if you can all tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue, Come and join us live on the radio for a two-hour phone-in between 10 o'clock sharp and midnight, Sunday nights on Nation Radio Scotland, 96.3 on the FM. Get yourselves on to at Scotty McClue on Twitter. Get yourselves on to Facebook Live, to the Scotty McClue page. Like the page. Spread the word, I'll tell you. Take care. Thanks, buddy, says John, John Boyle. And you, John, thanks very much for joining us and dinky do shared scotty says peter dale nevins yeah let me know when you've shared it folks because i'll be able to see it here so there you are so actually physically do it don't go ah, oh, sharing him oh, all that sort of stuff and um be there scotty be there john Barr. dinky do of course fantastic and lovely to have you with us and let's hope this brexit thing comes down soon we've spent 60 billion pounds on it it was a complete and utter waste of money for a spat, a party political spat that went horribly wrong. The public shouldn't have been drawn into it. It wasn't uh, democratic, nor was the proroguing of Parliament. And there you go. There's our Jim Fanko has joined us from Green Oak, the Green Oak Tree. Lovely to have you with us, Jim. And Dinky Doo, you're watching Scotty McClure, of course, live pop up just for you. I'll have to dash off in a minute or two. Charles McLaughlin. Uh, or McLachlan, McLachlan and McLachlan, Charles, we're always, um, you, you're the one that knows best about that, I have to be honest, that's one that Scotty McClure doesn't know better than anyone else, um, good night Scotty, says the wonderful Gordon Roddick, good night Gordon, thank you for being such a fantastic guy, thank you for giving me, affording me the privilege of working with you on national television, it was tremendous and everything just happened as it should when you were in charge. And of course, the other side, the other string to your bow, Gordon Roddick, is that you were the top, top voice on Scottish television from the 1950s. There you are, fantastic. And it's great to know you're about and looking so well. Hi, Scotty, can you give us a tune in the box? Oh, Ian Stewart, well... Uh, you know, modesty, modesty permits. Well, I'll see. I can't tell you what it will sound like, but I might manage just a wee tune for mm -hmm. you, just to say good night. I've got the box here, you see. So we'll see if we can get something out of it. And, um, oh, yes. <laughs> There we are, there's a wee number for you. Who can tell me what it's called? Brill says Trish McLaren, thank you for your support, guys. It's very, very important. Trish says, I've come on here, Scotty. I've missed you a few times, but you always cheer me up. And a couple of kisses. Mwah! Bless you all, I say. You're lovely, lovely people. Stay fabulous. Stay fabulous. Thanks, Scotty. No problem, Ian. Louise Adel, I heard Scotland's making links with ferries to the Netherlands. All good preparations 
for whatever Brexit will be. Well, remember, Scotland has always been in Europe, and Scotland has traded with Europe for a thousand years. Fantastic. Scotland is a very, very, very advanced country. And uh, don't forget that, guys. Right, I'm going to have to dash. I'll sing you the goodbye song. And here we go. After two. Two. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of it us then. Oh, revoir. And a cheery oh. And if you can follow the wonderful Gordon Roddick's example and stick a fiver into GoFundMe, that would be very, very helpful indeed. And if you do, thank you very much. If you can't manage it, don't worry. Go on to the GoFundMe site and share it. Share it on Twitter. Share it on Facebook. Share it around the world. Scotty McClue says dinky do to every single one of you. Night, night, folks. Night, Jim Fanko. Night, Fiona McDonald. Cheerio, Rory Green. Ta-da, lads.